I promised I'd share the story of what really pulled me out of bulimia, almost cold turkey, which is really very uncommon. But for me, it was really kind of a spiritual awakening, a moment when I really believed I was dying that got me to kind of wake up and immediately stop this addiction that I had been trapped in. But before I get into that moment, I will say that in 2011, my dad passed away from a very aggressive form of cancer. From diagnosis to his death, it was less than three months. That was probably one of the hardest things, not only to witness, but it was also a huge wake up call for me to realize that if I have my health, I have everything. It really made me think about the damage that I might be doing to my body physically. But the problem was it just seemed so hopeless. I literally didn't believe anyone could help me. Well, fast forward to 2016, I woke up one morning with mouth sores and I thought it was mouth cancer. And in that moment, I just remember thinking, I will never do this again. Like, I'm literally doing this to myself because I care so much about what my body looks like and how small I can get. And I'm so afraid to gain weight. What a waste of a life. It was almost just like a switch flipped in my mind and I was like, never again. And that's when I had to start that mantra of like telling myself it's okay. That's when I had to release all rules around food. From that day going forward, I was like, okay, well, there are no more rules. I'm done with the guilt. And it's not common for that switch to just flip so quickly, but for me, it did. Turns out I was just pregnant and those mouth sores were just hormones going crazy in the first trimester. But even after I realized it was just a symptom of pregnancy, it didn't matter. I had tasted the impermanence of life and it woke me up. And that's the message I want people to hear people come to me and they're like, I have a friend whose kid is struggling or a friend that's struggling. Can you help them? And I'm like, yes, but I don't have tips and tricks on how to eat less and diet better. And like that will never work. You have to realize what these messages from diet culture are stealing from people's lives. Literally so many people are going to their graves, spending a lifetime chasing thinness for what? They sell us the lie that if we don't obsess about it and think about it constantly, we will be these enormous people, right? That's not true. When you release the rules around food, you don't just gain a ton of weight. Sure, I've had to gain weight, but I will choose being heavier in this body than being thin, stuck in something that felt like I could never overcome. And my life has opened up in ways I never imagined. And how I stay good today is by continuing to share my story and not allowing rules around food to creep back in.